counter UAV online. Yo, what's going on everybody? My name is Plentix. Thank you so much for tuning in today's video. We are going to be going over how to get kill streaks in Call of Duty, a modern sound horror. Oh, whoops, my bad. Modern warfare. Hopefully they fix the sound horror part because your footsteps are way too loud without dead silence. Now, this COD is polar opposite to Black Ops 4. In Black Ops 4, you did not have to have good positioning. You could run around the map pretty brainlessly and without listening to anything really and still poop on kids due to the movement, healing, and uh, specialist abilities in Black Ops 4. Gone are the days where you can be wherever you want to on the map and still drop nukes, <laughs> okay? Now this COD, you guys probably could tell. Kill time, very, very quick. Positioning matters the most. Like in older CODs uh, and ghosts, things like that, and the kill time is very quick. Now, this is not a live com, but pops through the stun, check right, that's called a stun check, ladies and gentlemen. I check one angle with a stun, look to the other angle that my that is exposed, or I can get it exposed from. Stuns and nades, very important in this Call of Duty. Due to positioning being such a huge factor, you're going to want to nade or stun enemies that are in positions of power if you want to kill them, or else you will die. And you can also use stuns to stun check certain angles, while your character checks a certain, uh, different angle, if you will. And prop! Get shit on by the double barrel! You gotta love it, mate! That is another reason it's so hard. Look at that kill time. Um, and there's <laughs> shotguns like the double barrel that are very overpowered and I do think they will nerf um, the double barrel can one shot you from pretty fucking far <laughs> and it can shoot twice that thing is OP and they need to fix it but slide around this corner with dead side if he was looking at me I probably still would have shit on him because that is somewhat of a camera and people don't expect you to be slide like they don't expect you to be crouched when you come around a corner and that's essentially what a slide is you're basically moving while crouched so it exposes you a little bit less, but keep in mind, I just that I just shit on that kid. <laughs> yeah, I, I closed the door, heard him open the door, turned on him practically. But um, no, keep in mind after you slide in this game, the recovery time is a little longer than in Black Ops 4. So I would I would recommend jump super sprinting and then jumping around corners while being ADS over sliding. But it is good to change it up um, in competitive scenes or to slide around corners, or to slide like uh, underneath head glitches and stuff to expose yourself a little bit less. Um, but the hip fire is pretty nasty in this game, so if, if you slide around corners and hip fire, you probably will get away with it still. But uh, if, if they are already aiming down sights and pre-aiming you, that's where, that's where you're gonna lose most of the time in this COD. The pre-aim is king in this COD. Hopefully they fix the footsteps so kids are a little less campy. But as you can see, I'm, I'm doing fine right here. I'm running around the map for the most part. I'm dropping, uh, I'm dropping kill streaks. Uh, and yeah, that's another thing. I think I already mentioned it, but you can't get streaks by playing objective, unfortunately. They are kill streaks, not score streaks. So you have to play around the objective for kills. That's your best bet. In TDM, kids are going to be camping, but in a game like Domination, kids are going to be hopefully going for that objective. So it gives you a little more opportunity to kind of catch kids off guard that are focusing on the objective calling that VTOL we're only four away from our uh, advanced UAV and right here I'm not trying to camp I'm actually just waiting for my team to push up scientists use guinea pigs why shouldn't I <laughs> yes my teammates are my fucking guinea pigs you heard that correctly and that play was a little sketchy but I did pull it out because uh, he was weak from that grenade I didn't know he was still behind that minecart but when I was chilling in that room, that's another good tip for you guys. Use your, uh, like the, the movement isn't super fast in this COD, so kind of wait for your team to push up with you and get killed <laughs> so you can tell where the enemies are or just, you know, have more angles covered next to you because the more angles that are covered from your team, obviously you're going to get shot in the side and the back a little bit less if that is the case. Finally drop that UAV. 
and I've had dead silence at, at this point for like four to five kills. That That is another huge tip. If you chain kills while you have dead silence on, it refreshes your dead silence ability. So right when it's about to run out, if you get a kill, it'll recharge the circle all the way and you'll have another fresh like 20-ish seconds of dead silence. It's kind of annoying how dead silence is super quick and it goes away fast, but if you chain kills throughout, that is your best bet. Dead silence additionally makes you run and slide faster. Keep that in mind. So while you have dead silence on, that is your time to shine, really. And run around the map the most because kids will be able to sound whore you uh, a little bit less. And this rat is shooting me from the left. Give him the mount headshot for eye. That's another thing you guys should always keep in mind. If you mount, it pretty much reduces all of the recoil down to zero for your weapon. But if you're mounting on a wall, your leg will be a tiny bit exposed. So the best mounts are in corners where there's head glitches because then uh, you're not exposed like that much. It's pretty much still a head glitch. Um, yeah, and as you guys could probably tell, this isn't a live com. I'm, I skipped a couple parts where I was just kind of running around the map not finding anyone. Just for the sake of time. And... Bah! See you later, fucker. <laughs> oh, God. Get used to the revolver. Get used to the deagle. And get used to snipers. Because you're gonna find yourself dying a lot from those in this game. And they're pretty fucking good for competitive. I can't see... I don't know, I can see pros using semi-auto pistols, but the, the revolver's so good if you like tag one when you have an angle. It's just, it's just, uh, it's more damage, like, per peak, if you will, you know? And I just get fried from some fucking forklift operator. Jesus Christ, mate. But, this is, it's definitely a little bit of a slower COD. I would recommend super sprinting and jumping around corners and sliding around corners. Uh, slide around corners a little bit less than you jump around but pretty much constantly super sprint whenever you're moving you never want to be regularly sprinting in this game it's uh, it's a little too slow but you obviously kind of have to sometimes if you uh, if you're out of your super sprint that's why I use the perk a double time it makes you see not only crouch walk faster which is huge because crouch walking makes you a lot quieter. But it also... Fucking double barrel bastard. It also makes it so your tactical or your super sprint um, last twice as long, which is pretty fucking good. Pretty good for uh, repositioning, getting around the map, things like that. And I'm just testing. I've never used that airstrike. I don't even know why I have that airstrike. I had other streaks. I got them all, and now I have different streaks? Not even sure how that works. I guess you can't get the same streaks twice? I don't even know. That's kind of weird. I don't know if the game glitched or what. But on my M4, if you're wondering, I'm rocking the monolithic suppressor, the commando grip, uh, the, the red dot I have on it. Gra some granulated grip tape and then FMJ so I can shoot kids through walls a little bit and that is the game for you we made that comeback we were getting kind of shafted in the beginning of that and we went uh, 33 and 7 so we got into 40 engagements we won 33 of them and uh, died seven times some of those were kill streak kills though and got play of the game let's uh, get it baby hope you guys I uh, did enjoy the video. I'm still getting kind of used to Modern Warfare. Uh, I was going really hard in Black Ops 4, so I got to break a couple bad habits. But, as always, it has been Palentix. Uh Don't forget to subscribe if you're new, and drop a like if you did enjoy the video. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Stay hungry, so-